Okay, we're in the group. We started in the, the <laughs> business page, but not such a good idea <laughs> since I could, my computer is not allowing me to share. All right, so I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to let you guys, uh, for it to recognize so that you guys can join us um, inside of uh, day three. Get this sort of rogue hair that doesn't wanna behave. It's time to get the old girl redone. Hey Whitney, how are you? Nice to have you on. So sorry I'm late, but it literally has been a techno fiasco this, today. <laughs> um, I've gotten a new computer to replace the laptop and then the new computer is not working. I had to reset the, had it all set up yesterday and then had to reset the whole thing today. So um, it has been a nightmare. And then my phone, I had left the house and when it was seven o'clock and then my phone wasn't allowing me to go live, it was just a big giant fiasco. But nonetheless, I'm here even though I'm late. So I'm glad that you guys could join us. Hey, Sassy. Sorry, I started in the business uh, page and tried to share it out, but my computer locked up and it won't let me do anything. So uh, technology is not my friend today. But that's okay because you know what? I don't need it to be my friend because I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna shine even though it's trying to dull my shine. How's everybody doing today? Today, in my cup, I should have something stronger than water, but I'm being good and I'm sticking to water. All right, so, um, you know, I've seen about two videos so far, um, and I think the videos that I've seen, I love that little girl, that little pink head girl. Hey, Andrea. Um, so I've seen about two videos uh, thus far, and the two videos I've seen thus far are great. Great first videos or videos, regardless of the number of videos it is. So I'd love to see more of y'all's videos to see how you guys are doing. Um, Sassy, you're doing your smart. Perfect, perfect. So today was all about editing, right? How do you edit and uh, more communication, right? So I'm not inundating you with a bunch of, of, you know, try and get all of these things done. But what we're trying to do is do it slow, methodical, make sure that you're ready and you're not just, you know, starting with your eyes in a deer, you know, uh, you know, what is that saying? Uh, deer with your uh, eyes with your deer in the headlight I don't you know what I'm saying right you want to you want to show up prepared you want to show up like you're in command of that uh, screen and the best way to do that is to you know show up prepared so you know we are taking it slow we're not you know I'm not trying to slam you and make sure that you're doing like video after video after video although I am a strong opinion having been uh, in the same position that you all are in that uh, sometimes that's best, but we are taking it slow and easy. So today was all about editing, right? So not even really editing video as much, you know, not like cutting and uh, trying to make the video better, but really about how to allow your video to be discovered um, on Facebook and then ultimately um, I am going to be hosting a video masterclass after this challenge where we're going to talk about some more additional um, editing that you can do or SEO optimization that you can do on your videos in YouTube so that you can get discovered even more so you know Facebook is a great platform to start to do the recordings um, but inside of our video marketing class, um, I'm going to be showing you how do you take that video and create all sorts of content from that. And then how do you get that video discovered um, in organic searches so that you're not necessarily having to pay to play like you do in Facebook. So um, that's going to be in the masterclass that we offer after the challenge. But today's focus was really about, and let me get my notes, let me look at what today, so I'm not lying to you, but really it was about doing some aesthetic stuff in Facebook that you can do, like adding captions to your video, um, adding a cover page to your video. So if you saw yesterday's and um, today's Tuesday, I still want to think today is Wednesday all day long, 
Um, but today is, and so this is, so you guys have to forgive me, I'm looking over here at this piece of crap computer that I've got um, to pull up my notes. Um, but of course, it's taking forever. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so if you noticed, uh, Sunday's and Monday's video has now a cover page on it. How do you do that for you? If you actually go back to those videos, there's captions on the videos, there's tags, there's description, there's a title, there's things in the video that are going to allow it to now get discovered on Facebook. Um, so we want you to go back and do those things after you go live or after you upload your video. Um, and I'm giving you the instructions on how to do that in today's lesson. And then also what we want to do is more communication, right? So we want to send out the video to our existing email list. We want to share the video um, via post. Maybe if you're on Instagram, you want to update the link, you know, in your bio and let people know that you did, right? Maybe you want to do a little story about it, right? It's all about cross-promoting this one video on multiple platforms and then also driving people to see it, right? Because people are busy and maybe they can't join you live or maybe they didn't see that you did the recording, right? Um, so we wanna drive traffic to that. And that is really the key to all of the marketing things that you do is, is just because you build it does not mean that they will come what you have to do is drive traffic to it, right? So you build it and then you're gonna go and find the traffic and drive the traffic to whatever it is that you build, right? So these are some tips. Today's lesson was all about how to get traffic and eyes on the video that you create. So even if you haven't done your video thus far, you still are gonna to wanna to follow day two in the sequence that I'm delivering it because that is important, right? So let's say you don't go live. So let's say like Andrea, you did a recording. I think uh, Kenya did a recording and they've uploaded the recording. That's still time for you to do day three, edit, edit the video that you upload, do the captions, title, description, tags, add the cover, to it and then send it out to everyone. Let people know, upload it on your business page. Um, so it'll be in the video section. These features that I talked about can only be done on the business side. They can't be done on groups. And I don't, I don't know about personal. I've never even tried to do the editing that I've told you on a personal video, but I, I, I suspect the answer is no. Um, so the features that I'm talking about can only be done on your business page. So anyway, share it, let people know, tweet about it, write Instagram about it, you know, share it to your business page. If you're in other groups, share it to my group, share it to um, any other group that you're in and let people know that you're there, right? And let people see the video. So even when you share it, so what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to upload the video to all these different locations. I want you to share the link all over the place, right? I'm gonna share the link in your email, share the link in your bio, in your link. If you've got a link tree set up at Instagram, I want you to share it there. I want you to share it on your Facebook, right? I want you to share the link, share the post, what have you, so that people are gonna go back to the source and the original video. Hopefully that makes sense and you guys are getting it, right? So again, we're driving traffic to your business page and landing on that video. So that's really what all today is about, is communication about your upcoming event that's happening in two days for your video number three. Tomorrow we will be recording video number two, right, and repeating the cycle that we've just done, right? So um, tomorrow you'll record video number two. If you've done services, I think Kenya already did her services, then, sh then she would record her um, about, or you go live, tag me, Either way, if you upload it, you can still tag me. If you go live, tag me, um, whatever. Just tag me, let me know that you did it, and I'll go and watch it, and I will <coughs> put some comments on it, <coughs> and then you just wanna follow the sequence. All right, today is short and sweet, even though I was late. Apologize again for being late, um, but let me know if you guys, give me some hearts, um, give me some likes, let me know that what we talked about made sense. If you watch this in the replay, don't forget to push hashtag replay. Um, let me know that you were here. Again, we are taking this nice and easy. We should be done with video number two by tomorrow. And then by Thursday, last day, you'll have done video number three. And that will actually be the event that you will want to invite people to. 
And then on Friday, I'll talk to you about how do you take all of that and sort of start to really start to create an engine of video marketing. Okay, so let me know, ladies, does that make sense? Are you guys good? Um, how's it going? Like, are you feeling good about this week and what you've done so far or what you plan to do? So even if you're using this whole week as you're planning and then you're gonna queue it up, that's fine as well. I just want you to do it, right? You know, all about the action. I'm all about the planning, but I'm also all about the action. So I always want you to don't get in paralysis analysis um, or analysis paralysis, whatever way that goes, where you're stuck in thinking mode and not doing mode. So think, do, think, do, think, do, think, do. It's actually think, do, assess, right? So assess what you did, see what changes that you did need to make, and then do, do it again. You know, think, plan, do, assess. Think, plan, do, assess. That's kind of my methodology for everything that I do. All right, if you guys don't have any comments or questions, again, if you watch the replay, uh, if you have a question, just don't hesitate to post it. Um, but tomorrow, awesome, great, Andrea. She says it makes perfect sense to her. Um, Sess is gonna be doing her video tomorrow. Um, and you guys are doing great. I think that um, the videos that I've seen so far, the outlines I've seen so far, they all make perfect sense. You guys are nailing it in your videos and we just wanna rinse and repeat, right? So believe it or not, it's not the video <laughs> that is the thing that is important. It is that it is important, particularly if you're doing lives because you get the engagement, but it's all this work that we do pre-video and post video that really is where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, right? Because again, you can do a live and then let's say you get five or 10 people that join the live, right? But you want more eyes on your video, right? You want more communication. You want more, 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 right? And, you know, five or six people is never enough. You need more, I need more, I need more. So it's really about sharing out the content other on other platforms through your emails, through you know YouTube. I mean, there's a whole strategy that I take one video and it becomes content upon content upon content. And I still have not done the full fledge of what one video. I mean, one video can literally turn into 15 pieces of content. One video. And if you're doing one to two to three videos a month, right? You know, times that by 15, that's 60 pieces of content that you potentially create by doing four videos a month. Let's say you do two a week, right? Again, you're exponentially creating um, this mass amount of content that you'll be able to utilize and we'll certainly be talking about how to do that in video marketing class. All right, ladies, I'm glad it makes sense. And again, I apologize for being late and I will see you guys tomorrow um, for day four. No, 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 no. Is today really day three? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So tomorrow's day, like we're already halfway done. Like we only have two more days left. So we've got day four and day five and that's it. By golly, five days goes by way too quick, right? That's why I start them on Sunday because it really does sort of accelerate the time because you look up and it's over, like we're done. Like we've spent five days together doing whatever fill in the blank activity that we're done and we're done. And you didn't even notice that the time was going by. All right, ladies, have a great evening. I'll talk to you soon.